after uh, walking for 16 odd uh, 16 hours after cycling for 16 18 hours in a day uh, when you when you take rest for 5 minutes you don't know aapko neend kab aa jayegi and aap aap kab aapki aankh lag jayegi aap kab aap behosh ho jayenge so uh, those people who are mocking that they slept on railway tracks uh, i would say they are inhuman it was completely uh, miscalculation from uh, the government's point of view they completely mishandled uh, the whole crisis journalist filmmaker vinod kapri followed a bunch of migrant laborers from delhi to bihar a journey of approximately 1200 kilometers he did this to document the migration of daily wage laborers from cities towards their respective villages a consequence of the nationwide lockdown since march 23rd with some laborers setting out on their bicycles while others on foot this humanitarian crisis became even more pressing after 16 laborers were killed by a goods train near aurangabad the laborers were reportedly walking back to their villages in madhya pradesh and had momentarily stopped to rest on railway tracks where they fell asleep Kapri found about the laborers whose journey he followed through social media and this led to him spending 2 weeks filming their arduous journey on their bicycles from Delhi to Bihar. Yeah actually I got to know about these laborers on April 13 uh, 2020 I immediately uh, tweeted uh, about them and uh, they got some help but it was uh, not enough I guess. After two weeks, I got a call from uh, Ritesh. When I spoke to Ritesh, uh, one of the labourer, he informed me that, uh, sir, we are not beggars. We, we, we also have some kind of dignity. So now we have decided uh, to go to our village, uh, to our district uh, in Bihar, Sehersa. So uh, I said, where are you right now? He said, Hapur, uh, 80 kilometers from Delhi. So, you know, it was completely shocking for me and then I decided that I should follow their journey. When I got to know about uh, Ritesh, uh, that Ritesh and other laborers are uh, going, uh, I have already left for Sahersa. It was around 10 in the night. I immediately called up uh, one of my colleagues uh, who worked with me and uh, our DOP camera. So immediately uh, three of us, uh, we, just, we just moved out of our place uh, next morning uh, by five. We had our car because we know it is a long journey and we have some equipments also. On daily basis, uh, we were covering something around uh, 130 to 160 kilometers in a day, uh, depending on uh, the speed of uh, laborers because we were following them. Generally, uh, it was something around uh, 14 to 16 hours a day uh, they used to uh, ride their bicycles so and uh, it was it uh, it was our this thing also that we have to follow them for those long hours so we were there and uh, uh, when they took when it was their rest time it was rest time for us also you know one need to get into the shoes of these migrant migrant laborers before uh, before labeling them as a irresponsible uh, behavior as a common citizen as a middle class person uh, sitting in an ac room uh, watching uh, netflix or amazon prime or whatever shows getting all your groceries at your society society gate you just just can't imagine that after uh, walking for 16 odd uh, 16 hours after cycling for 16 18 hours in a day uh, when you when you take rest for 5 minutes you don't know aapko neend kab aa jayegi and aap aap kab aapki aankh lag jayegi aap kab aap behosh ho jayenge so uh, those people who are mocking that they slept on railway tracks uh, i would say they are inhuman very insensitive people and 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 they should they should at least try in their life they should at least walk for 30 odd kilometers in a day and then realize that what this pain is all about it was completely uh, miscalculation from uh, the government's point of view they completely mishandled the whole crisis you know um, uh, all these all millions of laborers are on the roads just because of uh, 
government's miscalculation and their insensitivity towards these these faceless nameless people and i think uh, government owe an apology from these people government owe an apology from laborers they are our own people they are our own uh, very very own people and you know uh, we need to understand their pain we need to understand their suffering this is what this is only what i want that people should learn from this documentary and this was the only mo motive to uh, shoot their journey